Hey everyone, this video is way overdue. We're going to be talking about the best Sudorite plugins that we can find inside of Sudorite because of all of the innovations that Sudorite has made recently. I'd say plugins have been some of the most exciting and the most well received because it allows people to just share their prompts and other things. And there's a sort of social validation that you get with these plugins because you can see which ones are most popular and so forth. And so we're going to test out some of the most popular ones today and give you my, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down on whether they are some of the best plugins here. Uh, we're going to be using just one of my old projects here in Sudorite about the Omnimancer just for testing purposes. But to access plugins, when you're logged into Sudorite, you go up here at the top where it says plugins, you select that and you can say explore plugins. And it gives you, there are a couple of featured plugins here, some of which we'll look at. Also, you can look at these at, from most popular, newest. These are some of the ones that I've added for myself. I'm just going to remove all of these for now so that we have a clean slate. And then we also have some of mine that I've been working on, which I'll get to in a separate video. So let's look at most popular. Additionally, uh, over here on the left, you have different categories. So if you want something that's like for narrative and plot, character development, editing, etc., all of, you know, you can sort through the categories that way. But we're just going to start here with most popular. And, you know, obviously the most popular one here is to make things a little spicier. I'm not going to demonstrate that one here in a YouTube video, but that's something that I know a lot of people are probably going to be interested in trying. But I'm interested in this one, Better Beats. One of the cool things about plugins is if you click on these, you can actually see what the prompt is. So you can try these out for yourself. And the prompt for this one is you are an expert developmental editor for New York Times bestselling genre fiction novels. I read this and then it will look at the highlighted text that you've created. Rewrite, make specific choices and create answers for the open questions in these beats. Add three sentences per beat with definitions and lore information that is consistent, yet open for extensive expansion on prose generation. Output an enumerated list of telling multi-sentence paragraph instructions on how to write the scenes. Output in the same language as the input. So that's interesting there. And so if we want to try this thing out, we're going to head and select add. One of the things that I don't see here is it doesn't tell me which model it's using, but it does say how many credits are used based on a scale. So if this were lower, it would probably mean like, oh, this is going to be relatively inexpensive to use. If it were higher, it would be higher. This is right down the middle. So uh, I don't know what model it's using, but I assume it's, it's going to be relatively middle of the road there. So now that you have that plugin tied in, we can go back to our document here. Let's just say here's the chapter summary that we want. If we take it here and paste it here into the beats generator, will this work? Okay, it looks like I can't have it here. I've got to have it just in the main text area. So we can put it here and then I select this text. And then you come up here to plugins and I've listed the Better Better Beats plugin here. So all I have to do is click on that with this text selected and it should Yep, yeah, here it is. It has gone ahead and given me some good beats here. Now, these are actually not too bad. It's only given me six, but these are very detailed beats. So if I put them here into the beats section, let's look at this first one. Lyra Thorne is nervous about her first attempt at raising the dead. As part of her necromancer training, she fidget, fidgets with the silver pendant around her neck, a family heirloom that is said to enhance magical abilities. The pendant was given to her by her late mother, who was a renowned necromancer herself. Lyra takes deep breath, trying to steady her shaky hands, and reminds herself of the countless hours she has spent studying ancient texts and perfecting her spellcasting technique. While in the mess hall at the academy, she confides with her friend Alara about her doubts regarding the morality of necromancy, yada yada yada. Okay, so these aren't too bad. Obviously, you know, I am very picky about my story beats, so I would be going through these like crazy and fixing them up. But this is definitely good and actually better, I would say, than the built in outline to beats functionality that story and that the uh, Sudorite has built in. It's definitely a improvement on using story beats. So thumbs up. I give this one probably an eight out of 10. Pretty decent for creating story beats which is not something that is easy to do. So let's go ahead and select a couple of other plugins that we want to try. 
I like the look of this brutal honesty bot. I'm going to add this one. Should just take a precept text and just give, just tear it to pieces, and we'll see how that looks. We have this distinct dialogue rewrite. I want to try that one. This remove chaff one is definitely one I want to write because there's a lot of chaff that you will find in uh, AI writing overall. So we want to see if that one is genuinely good or not. We have this rewrite with sensory rich enhancements. We can try that one. And I like the idea of this better openers one, which will take what you've written as the opening part of the scene and rewrite that to be supposedly better. All right, and I think that's enough to be getting along with. So we're gonna go back to the novel and start testing some of these out. We'll start with the brutal honesty bot. So I'm very curious to see what this does. So first of all, let's just select a section here and then go to that plugin, say brutal honesty bot. And it says, all right, let's break it down. Pacing. The scene starts with a strong sense of atmosphere and tension, but then it stagnates as the protagonist describes every minute detail of their surroundings. This slows down the pacing significantly and dilutes the initial intensity you set up. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's traditional of any AI writing, right? It's not going to be... It's going to be all those things that it said. Now, here, here's the problem with this plugin. I think this is a really good way to identify potential problem areas in your novel. The problem is this bot is designed to rip your thing to shreds. So even if you fix all of those things, if you run it through this thing again, it will basically give you the exact same, well, not the exact same output, but it'll continue to tear your thing apart. It will never be satisfied, basically. And so that's just something to keep in mind. That's how these chat bot bots work. And it's one of the reasons why editing is a tricky thing with AI, because it always just gives you what you want to hear remember that these LLMs are predictive text bots, basically. They are predicting what sounds right and based on the prompting. And so, yeah, yeah I, I get it. I, I think this is a good way to identify potential issues. But you've got to really be the human and, I, and actually see, like, is this actually an issue or not? Is it just the AI just making something up? All right. So I like that one. I'd give that one maybe a six out of 10. Not too bad. Let's try another one, okay? Let's go to better openers. So we're gonna select the first paragraph here and I'm gonna select better openers. We'll see what it gives us. All right, so just for clarity, my first sentence here is a sweltering heat hung in the air so dense it seemed to press against my skin like a second layer of clothing. And then here, it gives us a couple of options, looks like. Uh, gave us three options. In the heart of a forgotten desert where the sun's relentless fury ruled unchallenged, I found myself trapped within a narrow fissure, the only refuge from the deadly landscape. My heart pounded in my chest, a desperate drum, and yada, yada, yada. From the very moment I stepped into the awning mouth of the ancient fissure, the world transformed. Okay, that I liked better. That one was a good one. Beneath the undying glare of a relentless sun, and I found myself trapped within nature's cruel grasp, a deep fissure in the earth that held me captive. Uh, I can see what it's trying to do there. This definitely reads like GPT-4, maybe, or GPT-3.5. It definitely still has that AI-written feel to it. This second one was pretty good. So I'm giving this one maybe a, well, I'll give it a, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. And the reason for that is because sometimes just seeing different options like this can get your brain running. I don't think I would use any of these better openers verbatim, but you know, I would definitely say something like from the very moment I stepped into the yawning mouth of the ancient fissure, the word, the world transformed. I would definitely incorporate some of that language because I think some of it's pretty good. It just gives you ideas, right? And that's the best, that's AI at its best, right? So let's look at another one. Let's do a distinctive dialogue rewrite. So let's go ahead and find some dialogue here. I'm gonna select this section here. Aaron, I replied, my heart pounding with anticipation. I turned to Isla, unable to hold back my excitement any longer. So what's the plan? How are we gonna rescue Elric, okay? Simple piece of dialogue there, and we'll see distinct dialogue rewrite if it does anything interesting there. So this is interesting. First, it gave me an analysis. The narrator is eager and filled with anticipation. Isla seems to be a strategic thinker, yada, yada, yada. And then it ends the analysis and gives me some alternate dialogue here. Aaron, I replied, my heart pounding with anticipation. I turned to Isla, unable to hold back my excitement any longer. 
So what's the plan? How are we to rescue Elric? Asked Isla, her voice steady and calm. So that did not really do a, a good job. I'm going to try and select a larger amount of text here with several bits of dialogue here. We're going to try this one again. Okay, so it's written some of my dialogue. I have like first to sit down and it rewrote that that first things first, take a seat, which I think is probably okay. It's more words, which isn't always a good thing. Uh, and the dialogue we have here is we won't be able to get Elric with the forces we have currently. He is too heavily guarded. And then it says here, our current forces won't cut it for getting Elric out. The security around him is tight. That's okay. Won't cut it sounds a little bit like too modern for what I want here. Uh, I wonder how much it's taking into account the genre and everything. But that's something we can check out. So it's okay. I wouldn't necessarily say it's better. I'm giving this one maybe a 3 out of 10. Not my favorite, not super useful, but could be useful for just like... If you are stuck with ideas on maybe you want something better to say, the, the dialogue you have sounds awkward, this could be a good way to kind of get unstuck and find some options that might work for you. All right, here's the one I'm really looking forward to, remove chaff. So let's go ahead and select these first three paragraphs here, which are very chaffy, very, you know, GPT-4-ish. And we're going to say select the remove chaff plugin. And I'm really curious to see if this actually helps. All right, so it's given me a shorter, it's definitely reduced the word count to the sweltering heat pressed against my skin, making each breath a battle. The fissure's jagged walls loomed overhead with claustrophobic intensity. Isla led the way through the obsidian maze, her confidence unwavering. I followed with anxious anticipation, captivated by the power that had formed these tunnels. Beneath my boots, the fragile stone crunched and shifted. Tiny shards skidded across the ground. Their echoes bouncing off the walls, a reminder that our time in this volatile place was limited. So it definitely reduced the word count, but it still sounds very much like a GPT-4 kind of text, which is really hard to get around with just with prompting. Prompting, it only can do so much in changing the style of the text. And so I'm going to give this one just an even 5 out of 10. It's kind of like, yeah, it... it definitely did the job that it was asked for but still sounds very gpt4ish which is why i'm not really so hot on it i've been admittedly kind of spoiled by fine-tuned models in recent weeks because those fine-tuned models can do a much better job at removing the chaff than something that is using prompting like this so unfortunately i'm going to have to give that one five out of ten now speaking of fine-tuned models if you want to get the one that I am currently using to basically make the text much more human sounding, I will actually give you that fine tune models along with all of the instructions that you need to, to get it together in my membership. And you can get it for free. That membership is closing down today. Tonight is the last day that you can get it. And I don't know when it's going to be open again or if all of the bonuses that I'm giving away right now will still be there. So definitely go check that out. There's tons of stuff that I explain in detail on the sales page that you can get to down below. Definitely go check it out. It is gone tonight. You will not be able to log in again after this. So be sure to check that out because there are a lot of additional bonuses, things that we do that I'm really excited about. Lots of stuff upcoming that I'm also even more excited about. So I'll see you in there. All right, we're gonna try this again with the opposite. Instead, we're gonna ask it to rewrite with century, sensory rich enhancement. This will hopefully add, make it a little bit more deep point of view, make it a little bit more showing instead of telling. I'm going to use it on the exact same passage. So this should be probably expanded considerably. All right, so the first que the first paragraph here is a scorching, sticky heat clung to the... It. Oh, gosh. The breath-stealing sensation felt so oppressive, I was inhaling more smothering warmth than oxygen. Towering walls of the fissure... Closed in around me, their jagged edges slick and shiny with moisture as they bore down with a similar sinister intensity that could squeeze the courage out of anyone. That's actually not bad for GPT written prose. Uh, I'm assuming that's GPT. It sounds like GPT. However, it was definitely over the top. So once again, I would not use this verbatim. I would look at that, kind of take it and figure out what what are some good passages, uh, phrases that I could incorporate into the work myself, but I would definitely not use it verbatim. But this is actually, you know, not too bad. Definitely very much more expressive, much more sensory, which is definitely something that you will want to have in certain parts of your books is much more sensory information. So I'm giving that one a good like eight 
out of 10. I think that one's good. Just keep in mind that you're not going to be using it verbatim, or at least you shouldn't. Just use it for inspiration because it's very good at that sort of thing. All right, that's all of the ones that we want to, to try out. And I'm very curious to see if you have any plugins that are your favorites that you use regularly. Be sure to leave those down in the comments below. And I'll make another video like this one testing those out. So far, I think some of these are good. Some of them are hits. Some of them are not. I really liked the Beats plugin for one. I, I think that was really effective. And I'm really hopeful to see where this can go and see, especially as people get more fancy with prompting, we're going to see lots more plugins show up here. I obviously can't do them all justice. There are all kinds of different plugins that you can do here, some of which aren't even really about writing or editing the pros. Some of them are just exploratory so that you can play with them and everything. And so if you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to let me know and I'll get that going. And in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video.